Yes, so I will be starting the game. Game two between NB Whistler and an NB Karate on Neo Aztec 2.0. TBZ once again. And it looks like we will be having some kind of weird peach color, so I will just leave him. Eh, let's make him white. Let's make him white. Yeah. And Karate will be the red Terran in the top position. Um, looks like Whistler's going to scout in the right direction. Uh, that's, that's normal. Scouting towards his opponent's natural. I'm going to take a sip of my honey lemon water. Uh, you know, I was thinking, though, that this is actually a fan... Wait a minute. Uh, oh, he's, he's scouting the middle of the map. Okay, he's actually going to scout for proxy. Um, he's actually not scouting the north position. It looks like he was, and then he changed direction. Uh, which, I mean, I guess that's safe. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, Aztec is a three-player map, if you do not know it. Uh, it does have a high ground natural. It's it's kind of like reverse temple, with a low ground main and a high ground natural. Though I don't know if that really comes into play in TVZ. Although, given Karate's propensity to take um, to take his gas and go for some kind of tech build, uh, he, he usually wants to go for that wall in, which the reverse ramp will... Well, it'll make it slightly worse. Uh, I think I actually saw a cool game between... I want to say Calm and... Fantasy? Calm and Fantasy? Where, like, Fantasy walled in and went for 2-port Wraith. Now, I don't think it was Fantasy, but it was Calm versus somebody. He went for 2-port Wraith, and... Oh, it looks like Whistler going 9-pool into Gastric. Is that? Yeah. So, uh... So, Calm went for 2-hatch Lurker, and his opponent went for a 2-port Wraith. And Calm just like busted down the front because like the, it was a reverse ramp, so it was pretty easy. And uh, I think he did win the game. Anyway, we see a barrack going down and uh, an SCV going out. So uh, a later scout than last game. Uh, Whistler also not scouting at all. I don't think he needs to after a nine pool. Mmm, honey lemon water is so delicious. So I assume this is six links being made. Uh, well, interesting, he didn't get gas, so he's not doing any kind of crazy speedling build. But this will put some pressure on his opponent, and it looks like Karate's actually not going for the wall. And up oh, here is the reverse ramp, as I said. And... Okay, it looks like SCV did scout in the right direction. I was not paying attention. Uh, and there's the hatchery, but there are the lings! Uh, is he going to leave one link to chase the SCV? I don't think he should. I think he should go with all six. Yes, indeed, he will. Uh, he can. He's probably spawning two more, and then he can use them to uh, to kill that scouting SCV. Now, what what is what is Cardi gonna do? Uh, obviously, he's gonna need to pull a few SCVs. And okay, looks like he's actually gonna throw down a second barracks, so we might uh, see Karate's bio play for once. Uh, that should be quite interesting. Oh, it looks like he's trying to uh, trying to kill this drone, but uh, got it down to about half health, and then we'll get spat on until he leaves. And, whoa, look at that timing. Oh, actually, is it late? No. Karate. Karate, spectacular SCV timing there, but Whistler's going to go for it. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. Two SCVs going down. Whistler has four lings remaining. The remaining two SCVs do get in a good position. I think that'll be the end of that. Yes, indeed, it will. So, two SCVs for three lings. That's that's still good. And Karate going to do a counter push. Are you Pharrella? Okay, no, he's just scaring him away. Whoa, I was going to say, if he just, like, counter pushes with two SCVs and two Marines, that would be seriously man-style. That would be, like, the Reach way of playing Terran. You know, it's just like... Units? Who needs units? Let's go kill him, man. Let's go kill him. It's fine. I bet, I bet if Reach played Terran, he'd have, like, man SCVs. Just ripping Zerglings to shreds. Although, wait, no, SCVs already do that. Um, so never mind. Because they're, they're pretty unfair. Anyway... Uh, scouting SCV is still chilling, and it looks like Whistler's gonna go for a two hatch build once again. Uh, whereas Karate so far looks like he's going for the standard bio. He is pushing across the map though, and Whistler, Whistler did not leave a, a, a zergling outside of Karate's base to see this, or did he? Did he actually leave one and, and did I not see it? Because he just made two more zerglings. Is he making more zerglings? Yes, he is making more zerglings. Okay, so he's most likely aware of this push, but he's got no sunken down. And Karate is just rallying Marines off two barracks here. Uh, are we going to see a fast 2-0? That would be very unexpected. I, I would have uh, favored Whistler in this matchup. Whistler is pretty Gosu. 
Oh, uh, looks like the Lings are coming in. They're trying to get us around. There's actually too many Lings here. Oh, uh, Karate may have overcommitted. He might lose all of his Marines right here. Oh, looks like he's just trying to retreat to the ramp and get a little bit of a choke point. Wow. He didn't lose a single Marine. That was that was actually really lucky. Woo! I don't know if he just actually knows this map that well that he can judge that timing, but but these are some sick timings by Karate. I wonder if he's been like practicing for this map. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Whistler go going for this around. Is he going to get it? It looks like he will. Karate wasn't paying attention. He's going to get back to the ramp now. The SCV is doing a decent job blocking, but he will lose this entire force. And... Uh, uh. One SCV goes down. They are speedlings now, so I really think he should make a bunker. Karate, I really think you need a bunker, dude. The Spire is almost finished, but Whistler has not been saving Larva at all, so he will not have six Larva to make into Mutalisks when these guys get here. The Academy is going down, a third Barracks is going down. He's only got two guys on gas. That might be on purpose, though. But here comes the SCVs. The bunker's not quite finished yet, or <laughs> the Lings, rather, not the SCVs. Uh, he might go for it. The SCVs are coming off the line. He is going for it. The bunker's not finished yet. The Marines are re trying to retreat to the ramp. The Lings, will the Lings close with the Marines? It looks like they get a decent position, but there are a number of Lings left. I think Karate will barely hold. Ugh. Barely, barely coming out with uh, five kills between those Marines. That was... Man, I thought I thought Whistler was just going to go kill him. Oh, we should put those Marines in here, though. Oh, you should put those Marines in there! No! Karate! Oh, no. You didn't put them in the bunker, man. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, speedlings are so unbalanced. Oh, man. Oh, oh, SCVs. SCVs coming to block. Uh, what, what are those guys called in football? They, 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 they like, block for the, the quarterback? I have no... I don't watch... I'm talking about American football, too, by the way. I don't... I have no idea. But but somebody blocks for someone in American football. So, so that's what those guys are. That joke kind of didn't work. But anyway. Uh, unfortunately, Firebats are not actually going to do anything against Mutalisks. Oh, man. Firebats... Firebats, GG! Whistler evens it up, one to one. All right, very wow, that was a relatively quick game so far, but uh, very interesting play by both.